Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will talk about an amazing online AI image creator website Playground AI. With this platform, you can create art, social media posts, presentation, posters, logos, and much more. And the best part, it is completely free to use. With the free plan, you can generate up to 1000 images per day. So let's dive in and see how to register and start creating images on Playground AI. So to register, go to playgroundai.com, click on get started and register using your Google account. Once you are logged in, you will see create button at the top right corner. Click on this. Before we start creating any images, let's see what all options do we have. So we have prompt area. Then we have an option to remove from image. Then we have filter options. We can select any kind of filter for our images, which we are creating, which we'll have a look. Then you have image to image option. And at the right side, you have model. So which model you want to use for creating images. So as of now, you have stable uh, diffusion 1.5, 2.1 and DALE. Uh, for free plan, you cannot use this. Then we have an image dimension option. Then we have prompt guidance. So we can adjust this based on our requirement, quality and details and seed. And the number of images we want to generate. And we have a sampler option also. So let's get started. So we'll start with something simple. So I'm going to start with a dog playing with a ball. I have kept number of images as four. I have not selected any kind of filter. So let's get started. So you can see that we do have some images here. So let's see if we select some filter what we will get. I'll go ahead and select Playtune for now and generate again. This looks good. We can see that, you know, eyes are not good. So what we can do is we can give some remove from image here, which is a negative prompt. You can find this in the description of the video. Let's give this and see what it will generate. This image looks really good. So let's create some variation of this image. So once we click on this, you will see that this will keep this image as, as a reference and will create a variation out of this. We can increase the strength here if we want similar kind of images. So we can see that it has created four variation of this image out of which this looks really good. So I'm going to create a variation of this image this time but I'll keep the strength image as written more. So it will be even more closer than other variations. If you want to upscale this image, you can go and click on this upscale by 4x and it will increase the size of this image. Next, we will use image to image as reference and create portrait out of that. So I've gone to pixels, I've downloaded this image. Let's import this image and start editing. So you can see I have the image imported here and image strength I've kept it as 30. So we will work with this image strength and see how the variation will be. So let's first keep the image strength as 20 or 19 and convert this as a Disney princess. I have kept this uh, negative prompt as it is and we will generate image out of this. So I've kept number of images as one. So you can see that it has created an image with the reference of this. Let's see what will happen when we increase the strength. So you can see that images are closer to what we have earlier, but it has added few more details. Let's see how we can do a masking here. So if we want to add a necklace, Add a necklace and we can go to image, add mask and we can draw here. You can increase the size of the button here and you can change this as a 6, 6.5 or something like that. Let's keep it as 6.25 as edit instruction and generate. You can see we are able to add a necklace here. So now we can go and edit this image. 
we don't want this mask so we will remove it and uh, if we want to add a wavy hair so let's go ahead and do make hair wavy you can see now the hair style has changed so this is how you can edit uh, image to image reference so if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you everyone if you found this tutorial helpful and informative please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you have any suggestions please leave a comment below thanks for watching